Gemini. Hello, beautiful. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you are interested in scheduling a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details will be down in the description box below. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and guidance from Spirit, particularly in the niche of business. He is absolutely a business genius. His information is going to be down below. But without further ado, Gem, let's dive right in. I'm just going to get a couple shuffles here. The cards seem a little sticky today, so perhaps a little bit of indecisiveness from some of my beautiful Geminis. Let us see what's going on here. Messages for Gemini, please, Spirit. Let us see one more. Beautiful. And the moon, there we have it. So there are going to be some shadows that are creeping up here, but this is a perfect opportunity to capitalize on healing them. Whenever, uh, whenever something is in our life that makes us feel fear or makes us feel incapable of moving forward, something we just want to put the blinders on and not look at, know that in there is your true authentic self. It's who you're truly meant to become. And so the more that we can dig into our shadows and we really look at our fear and think, why is this frightening me? Why am I resisting this? What is in here? That is who you really are. And that is your spirit breaking free. Because every time something happens in our life, that, that's who we are. You know, it's a lot of it's based upon our, our early childhood development. Because every time that we were wanting to be who we really are, generally that was repressed, right? That was repressed from, from, from our caregivers, um, you know, based upon their beliefs and their, uh, their upbringing themselves. So it's always passed down. But when we can recognize where our programs come from, and we recognize, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, this, this, this does feel like a repressed thing that happened. Then, then we're able to break free from that. And again, it is always indicated from what it is that we're fearful of our shadows. And now is the time more than ever to really focus on that because the universe is saying there's a lot of opportunities here for you that are really going to allow you to evolve your spirit if you focus on that element of fear. And what's important to know here with this wheel card is that if we are not if we do not remain eager and excited and open for opportunities, the opportunities won't be able to present themselves in a way that we will see them. See, that is the kicker, right? Because it does look like there's going to have some be some news coming in for you, Gemini. And you're going to want to be ready for it because this is going to be very good news. The star card is, is, is indicating that. And also with the six of swords validating that it will be a very much beautiful growth period for you. Growth is amazing because growth equals more happiness and fulfillment. So this time is coming, but very much interested in this wheel card here. The universe is really pressing this and, and really being, being really um, coming from a place of reminding yourself, uh, uh, Gem, you got to be eager and excited for what's to come. We have to be open-minded. If we are at any way feeling that fear and feeling that anxiety, we are going to, it's going to reflect in trying to fill that void in ways that are harmful to us. Food, drugs, alcohol, gambling, shopping. Not that any of these are, well, you know, it, it, look at them as void fillers. You know, everything is great in moderation, right? But just be mindful that if you're utilizing it to cover a void, to fill that fear, that is when they're, the, woo, that is when there are going to, wow, that is when you're going to be giving your power away. My goodness, with that emperor card, that is when you're, you're going to be feeling powerless. Okay. Don't let the shadows leave you powerless. Take your power back and think, wait a minute, why is this frightening me? Why am I, why am I reverting back to my programs? And your programs are going to have the energy of feeling almost like a, almost like your childlike self, but like more of like the displeased childlike self. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you can almost feel. You almost feel like you're not, like you're not an adult in some way, you know, uh, you know, the feeling, right? Gemini. So it, it, it has that energy to it. Almost like you're, you're feeling like a kid. You're feeling a little childish, right? Maybe complaining a bit, a bit, maybe acting not like your higher self, you know, that's, that's how it's going to feel. So when you're in that energy, just know that you have the potential to absolutely turn that around. That's the best part because whenever we're in that energy, we're in the fear pit. We always talk about and that fear pit is only the walls are only going to close in if we sit in that fear pit and think, oh my goodness, this is happening. I don't want to face, I don't want to face my fears. But if we face our fears and if we look to the, 
you know, the right or the left and realize, oh, wait a minute, there's a ladder out of this fear pit. And all I have to do is reach for what I'm grateful for and reach for the positives in the situation. And we can climb ourselves out of that fear pit. And then we can start to see things with a new perspective. Again, thus being ready for the opportunities. Because again, there's a huge significant opportunity here for you to start something, perhaps start a business of some kind, but there is definitely a sense of adventure, maybe travel, maybe again, have this new uh, adventure, just an adventure, just sensing adventure all around. And this adventure is really going to bring a lot of prosperity and a lot of fulfillment to your life. And you're going to want to be ready for this. This is going to be very exciting. But remember, if we're too busy focused on the shadows and our insecurities in a negative way, as opposed to an opportunity to heal them, then we're going to miss it because we're going to be sitting in the fear pit thinking, poor me, I'm down here. But really, you can climb yourself out of that really, really fast. You can take your power back. And when you take your power back, Gem, that's when all these beautiful new beginnings are going to open up for you with this two of, with this two of uh, cups here. I mean, relationships are going to expand. Perhaps you'll be meeting somebody of your dreams. But right now, understand that it's a very important for you to um, uh, take take notice if you're ever in these programs and if you're in, you know, almost like a, a you know, a, you know, a, 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 your, your inner child self, you know, and it, it's going to come off in the form of like a scared, scared child. You know what I mean? A little defensive, right? Defensive and, and kind of just avoiding, avoiding what it is that needs to get done. Any level of avoidance, know that that avoidance that you're the, the, the thing that you're trying to avoid, really you're avoiding your authentic self. And when you're in alignment with your authentic self, oh my gosh, it, the world is very, very magical. So the universe is saying, don't seek this out. Don't put pressure on yourself to try to figure, figure, figure out what comes next. Just know that now is a time more than ever to just simply allow things to unfold, right? With that four swords as well, get out in nature, just spend time being grateful, spend time climbing up the ladder, right? Climbing up the ladder is bringing peace to your life, finding the joy, finding the fun, finding the success, right? Anytime we are in our programs and we're feeling stressed and we're not feeling worthy or feeling we're feeling that fear. We've got to first get out of that fear in order to be able to see the opportunity. Otherwise, again, we won't see it because it's a different level. So the opportunity is out of the fear pit. So we got to get out of the fear pit first. So the first thing you do is climb out of the fear pit. So for the next few days, just focus on grateful. Just focus on being grateful. Just focus on finding joy. Just focus on the little things in life that bring you absolute happiness. Only look for happiness. If a thought doesn't make you happy, don't don't think it. If, if you're looking, if someone isn't making you happy, avoid them. You know what I mean? For three days, just do this for yourself. That way you're going to get yourself out of that. And then you're going to be able to reflect on these shadows and you're going to then be able to determine where this is coming from. But for right now, it's important for you to do what excites you so that you can bring that passion back in your life and ignite your spirit. Because it is time to get fired up about your life, Gem. Because I'll tell you something, this universe, this world, oh my gosh, literally incredibly magical. And all this magic it gets attracted into our lives when we feel abundant, but we only feel abundant when we climb ourselves out of that fear pit. So just know that, just know that you have a lot of good things waiting for you a lot, but we must remind ourselves that whenever we're in that place of, you know, disapproval of ourselves, it's only because it's time for us to evolve. It's time for us to recognize, okay, I'm not liking how things are looking in my movie right now. My movie is looking like a horror movie and I'm wanting it to look like a, a magical romantic comedy over here, right? And so we got to switch up our projection. We got to switch up our movie. So we got to switch the way we see things. This only happens when we absolutely reach for that grateful and we really deep dive into what it is that makes us fear with this energy of control, this energy of power. You know, don't let the fear render you powerless. Know that this is is just this is just a part of the contract, right? We're going to experience fear when, when change is upon us. And so it does feel like a big change is upon you, Gem, but just take this change as an opportunity for growth and expansion and opportunity as opposed to, oh my gosh, there's change. I'm going to miss my old life. I'm going to miss my old habits. I don't like this. I want to stay the same. Careful what you wish for. None of that. Now is the time for evolution. Grab onto that love. Grab onto the, grab onto that silver lining. You know what I mean? What is, what is, the, the glass half full perspective in your reality, reach for that because that is where you're actually headed. And again, when we can really look at ourselves in the mirror and think, what, okay, what, what is it that I'm really trying to achieve here? Because now is the time more than ever to start visualizing a new reality for yourself instead of the one that you're currently in. Make sure that you're envisioning what you want. Because again, whatever we set the intention for, for what we want, that's where the universe will guide us. But when the guidance system comes, 
we're going to have to make changes, right? And when that change comes, us empaths feel ungrounded and nervous and unsafe. But in order to combat that feeling of unsafety, it's just important to get ourselves, first of all, into a place of joy and excitement. And that a lot of the times that comes from a place of making sure that we're envisioning that new reality and structuring our life in a way so that we feel confident with what the change is upon us. So learning new things and making sure that we are, we are taking care of ourselves because when we take care of ourselves, naturally, we feel much more clear. So clear. So exercise, healthy foods, a lot of hydration, very important for us to stay hydrated, making sure we're getting enough sleep. Okay. That's the foundation. And then when the changes do occur, we are ready to tackle them. All right, Gemini. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was like share and subscribe, I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Gem. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.